So the big question about this hotel is, is it worth the money? This place is so expensive. Is it worth the money? Mm. Yes or no, after one, two, three, ready? One, two, three. Wait a minute! What's up guys, we're back with another video and we are at, well, I don't know guys, I don't know if it's our final day, I don't know if it's our final day or what, but right now we're going to go snorkeling, so. Thank you. It means Alina has a snorkeling kit and she's ready. I'm ready. I have my room key in my pocket, so I have to carry it back. Water is actually warm. Wait a Sailboat this time. Turn it on. Turn it on. Scrutinize. As I can meticulously scrutinize. We were on our Baltonies. And on the Bantoli. Bankani. Bubi, to me have this tongue away, I call it Bankani. Bantoli. Bantoli. Have this tongue, my people. Please see with me. Okay, we were at Excellence yesterday. As you can see in the title, and today we'll be doing the review for our time at Excellence Oyster Bay, which is kind of. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know. It's the best in the world, by the way. Our time here was <laughs> up and down. <laughs> but without further ado, we'll get right into it. So, hmm. You know, the regular categories already. So, first, let's start off with. Can I start off with the room? You don't know. I think that was up there. Room? Yeah. Room? One, two, three, nine. Ten. 9.5. Um, you know what? Alright. 10. Oh, Alright. I'll give it a 10. But I don't know. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. But uh, I think this is... I think this is the nicest room we've been in. You don't think? Where's nicer than this? Mm. The hat? Yeah, the but, grand. yeah, but those were... Okay, for the room, it's the best room for the category. For the category, that's what I mean. Sorry, guys. 
for the category because when we were at the height, that was a sweet one did. Jewel Grand. You guys haven't even seen that yet, so I'm not even going to tell you that. For for what we've done on YouTube, guys, this is the best room for all this right. category. So at this hotel, for all the room categories, you're gonna get the best possible room for that category. So if we got a suite, then I'm pretty sure that would be the best. Mm -hmm. Everything here is very aesthetically pleasing. The reason I took off a point at first is because in the bathroom, the toilet rack is too close to the ground. Yeah, and, that's kind of strange. And there's no rag hang to, in the shower. There's nowhere to hang oh, your yeah, rag. Oh yeah, like you kind of have a makeshift and put it yeah. wherever. But you are given multiple rags. I appreciate that we're given like four rags each time. At other hotels it's just two. So I don't know if they do that for you to just throw them away. We, I think we use one rag a day. Yeah, we use one rag a day, so... Um, that was fine. I appreciate them having two TVs. There's a bed right there that's on the balcony. That's very... There's two beds on the balcony. That's very hidden. Um, Alina and I napped out here yesterday. And it was really good. It's not yesterday, the day before. Day before yesterday. See, this is another bed right here that you can see everything. I can show you guys the view. And at this hotel, guys. You don't have swim up rooms, you have private, private pool. pools. The private pool is actually cheaper than our room, but I didn't want it because I don't like being on the ground floor. Elena doesn't like the ground floor, guys, so I missed out on a private pool. But it's fine, it's fine. Because, again, with the room, we're given this big thing, which has towels now because they're cleaning because we're checking out. Um, this really big, that's the biggest tub we've, we've had for sure. It could easily fit the both of us. And yeah. it filled up quicker than any tub we've uh -huh. had as well. Everything is really good. Um, even down to how you call for clean up, you just press that button. There's on the panels phone. on the door. Panels on the side of the bed for the AC. A really nice room, guys. Yeah, ambiance, ambiance. One, two, three, ten. Nine point eight, ten. Ten for the ambiance for me. I wasn't sure if Alina was going to give a full ten, but. Yeah, this is the best looking place we've been to. It's it feels so, nice. It's so modern, it doesn't even feel like... I don't know where it feels like, but it just feels like a different place. Country. I don't even know if it's a different country because you still have the beach and everything and you still have the people with the vibes. So you still get the Jamaican vibes to some extent. But Disagree. Just looking at it? What? You don't get... As in them kind of If you are a tourist. Standard. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a tourist and you want to come to Jamaica, well, you have two types of tourists. The tourists who like luxury and you have the ones who want to feel the people of the country. Yeah, this is not a party. If you too. are a tourist, come and you want to feel a tourist luxurious experience, come here. If you want to experience something authentic, don't come here. This yeah. is not authentic Jamaica. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. You have to go to like... For that, you'd probably have to go more like a, a, a ocean coral spring, this stuff for like the parties and stuff. Here is more of a chill. They have so they have vibes here, but it's different type of vibes, completely different. So ambience, we can give them a ten, mm -hmm. ten for sure. Let's move on to staff. Staff. One. Staff. Mm. Mm. It's the <laughs> average people. This is the average. They get sport. tricky. It gets it's a half it gets tricky result. because as like again guys you have to remember that this is we rate based off of our experience we don't this is our experience. we're not talking about what happened to anyone else it's just what happened to us so as I said you know what this don't happen to happen to you guys <laughs> don't happen to you I don't know I think the phone is again pause so a big blunder happened I'm, I don't really want to share the details of the blunder. But because of the blunder, I have to average out and give staff a six. Mm. I have to average out and give them a six. Um, before, the before I would give them, before what happened, I'd give them a ten. Seriously. I'd easily give them. Oh, that's not very good. But what happened was so big. Yeah, it kind it mess up the rest of our time. Mess up my. I would can we did just end up a waste with time. You, you get what I mean? Well, under not get understand what you mean. And you won't understand. It's what is okay. 
everyone here is really nice, but I just we don't just... want to slander their name. That's the reason I'm not telling you. Yeah. Because it's just a it's just a misunderstanding. Whatever they happen to us is a misunderstanding. <laughs> not on our part, for sure. It's not on our part. Honestly? And yeah, nothing was done about. If I had vengeance in my heart, I would tell I would tell it. That's plain. You know, should I just tell it? I think I should just tell it at this point. I don't have vengeance in my heart, but it's happened. Well, guys. Yeah, we we'll always say we're gonna tell the truth. It's just the truth what happened. <laughs> what happened is that we're supposed to get a complimentary room, a complimentary extension of our stay, and then the last one they told us that we can't get it. Claire, this not look good. Yeah, so we're there. We confirmed. Elena, confirmed. Elena requested it because something happened earlier yesterday in the day. Okay, guys, you know, so we're always like for the. Let me just explain. You know, just explain in a summary. Summarize. Because, okay, we're very honest. So I was not going to tell the story, but just tell the story because it is what it is and it happened. Yeah, it happened and it don't make sense with telling us, hey, yo, we left for AirPods at Grand Bay and we don't get it back and we don't tell us, hey this happened because it really did mess up our time close to the end you know what i mean so yesterday alena was asking about the snorkeling mask because she'd been wanting to snorkel but i didn't bring mine so she couldn't get one we were over the side that's far away from the water section asking people where we can get it they were like no man go over the villa side we've never been over the villa side they went oh it's on the next side they never even said the villa side they're like it's on the next side of the hotel went over there now I end up going to use the bathroom. This is not a summer. <laughs> huh? But this is not no, I get summarized, but I just get explained that I wasn't there. Elena was querying about the snorkel. Um we didn't get there. When we got there it was on time, but the people were like, oh they can't give us because they normally rent it out for a certain amount of time. We were just like, we can't get it for 15 minutes. No, they can't give it for 15 and we just saw them give people snorkels. So anyways. You can make it up to my general manager. Message my business email. Email me. Um, the, the concierge manager is gonna email me. So come and say to us. Long story short, Elena was upset. We spoke to someone um, who eventually tried to quell the situation, and uh, we weren't making a big deal out of anything. We were just upset within ourselves. You you couldn't tell her anything. Elena just called over this guy. Get got to speaking to him and whatever. Then now it just succumbs. Alena always says, "Ask for for what you want." Alena is not going to hide and talk. Alena say, "So since it's inconvenience, you think you could have get away a free night to extend your stay?" Boops, boops. Him say, "All right, then cool. Him probably can do a thing. Walk us even over to the house and thing and." Gotcha. Long story short, he told us that we would have gotten the room, and today, as you can see, we're checking out. So, <laughs> spoke to the general manager, explained that even last night we never mm -hmm. even got in a dinner. No, no, no. We never speak to the general manager, sorry. This hotel move like saying, the general uh, manager, look up in a one state or something. That's why we can't talk to him. Yeah, man, I'm going to say the prime minister. <laughs> well, I can't talk. We can talk to Andrew Honest and then we can yo, talk to him. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could easily speak to Andrew, Andrew Honest. And this guy is... I don't know. I don't know. It's like them would have to put out a red carpet team come no, back and they just couldn't bother. Anyways guys. So that happened. Let's move on back to the categories. As I said, the staff was good before the blunder. The staff was good up until the blunder and they weren't they weren't um very accepting of their mistake. No, they were not. They weren't. That is true. So yeah, that just kinda the mess up everything. People are playing music out here. I don't know if I have to move inside. End topic. Alena, we're only the two waitings. We're all right, we're inside. Because we're, we're lazy. Yeah, we moved inside because there's music outside. Anyways, so we did rooms, ambient stuff, and then now it's amenities. Amenities? Two, three, Six. five. Uh, Only a few hotels have a lot of amenities, you know. So yeah, I just realized that. Yeah. Just really the family ones. This is an all adult hotel. 
I didn't even know that until I came here. There's really no amenities other than the spa. Apparently, there's a theater. We didn't go to it. Oh, we did go to it. It's not really a theater. It's just an open theater with a screen at the back. Yeah. Oh, that's where they have the um, yeah. shows at the night. Um, they have a game zoom as well, but I didn't, oh, go. didn't go. Want to go and check before we leave? You can just walk in there, probably. Yeah. But yeah. Walk, they're, they're... Regular water sports. Yeah. Food. Two, three, ten. Eight. I give food a ten. I don't have any complaints. Um... Yeah, the food was good. Uh, if there's bad food, there's good food to make up for it. Yeah. Sushi was very bad. But Mikhail still ate up all of his. Yeah. Too much rice wine. Just in case the chef is watching this. There's too much rice wine in the rice that you smell the sushi. It's tangy. So the big question about this hotel is, is it worth the money? This place is so expensive. If you go online and look up these rooms, they're very expensive. Um, is it worth the money? Is it worth the money? Mm. Yes or no? After one, two, three, ready? One, two, three, yes. no. I think it's worth the money. Um, it's worth the money. I was the, okay. It depends on the perspective that you're looking at it from. If you don't have any money, all right, not not say like that. If you have to sacrifice to come here, it's not worth it. But if you don't have to sacrifice to come, absolutely if you just want it's worth it. Experience it, it then. Yeah. Absolutely, it's because right. they treat they treated really good here. I'm not going to lie. Um, they treat you good. They gave me a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have expected. Like even in the bar, they give you like Snickers, white chocolate M and M's. They give they just give me stuff that I wouldn't even think that I'd get at the hotel. I, I yeah, I guess I shouldn't have said no. From my perspective, it's worth the money, you know. Had I not had the inconvenience, but now my views are clouded because I'm human and you really yeah, guys. Me. To be honest, our last day wasn't well spent. Yeah, and. Uh, it's kind of... There's a couple of hours where because we enjoyed ourselves at night. We enjoyed ourselves at night. Oh, yeah, the night. The party was nice, but... Um, yeah, if I wasn't human... Well, I'm human, so my views are clouded now. I mean... Mm. Yeah, so even like the food, I was like... When I did say eight me, I said, hmm. But I did have nice food here still. I really did have nice food. I can change my food answer to, like, nine. Yeah, it just depends on the perspective. If you like to party and you like a lot of vibes, don't come here. If you just want to quiet, if you just want quiet, peaceful, and, and everybody vibes, just do everything for you, and then you come here. Like honestly, it just depends. Like if you have the money, come. If you have the money, come. But if you have to squeeze to find the money, just save it. Don't mm. it. Yeah, and I, again, we got club, so oh. then we experience like there are a lot of things that we got. Like we got. Premium spa liquor, yeah, spa, premium treatment. spa treatment. Um, you could go up on I think the rooftop pool. I wasn't sure if that was open. To oh anyone. yeah, and some infinity pools. Um, yes, yeah, so then like if you're not if you're not club, and then club is based off the category of room. Um, no, actually, club is a different side of the hotel. Oh, for you? Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. have regular rooms and you have club rooms. Um, yeah, so we got our club rooms. Yeah, the so club rooms are more expensive. I, it's a special occasion, it's my birthday, so I just wanted to... But I think this is a good special occasion place. Like, if you come in here for a special occasion, it's good. It's exclusive. Mm -hmm. If you just want a weekend away, I wouldn't say come here unless you're like... Unless Bill Gates is your uncle. <laughs> or Jeff Bezos is your goddad. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive. Well, it's not crazy expensive, but in comparison to other hotels where... It's a different kettle of fish, but if you just go on a vacation once in a while, that's sufficient, don't you think? Um, yeah, but I think that I don't know. It probably make more sense for just go to other, the other place, then more time than for just spend all the money coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's a nice experience. It's pleasing to the eye and everything, but then. I don't know if you're looking to have fun, how much fun are you having? Yes, I just wanted to relax. Yeah, Alina really just said from the start. Make sure you go and check our first video, by the way. And like this video, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And probably if you guys comment enough, we'll tell you the story time about what happened. <laughs> As to why we're so conflicted. Yeah, so it's worth the money. It's worth the money if you have money, if you have a lot of disposable income. But it's not worth the money if you're saving up for your one vacation, mm. you know? All in all, I think we had a good time. We had a really yeah, good time. Yeah, overall we had a good time. I would come back, despite what's happened. I would come back. It's my vibe, I guess. It's my vibe. Mm. The staff were nice. Really nice. 
I would come back. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you catch us on the next one. Turn on the post notifications if you're feeling nice so you get that notification when we post. And we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. A few minutes later. Yeah, guys, so at the lobster house right now, they have lobster because it's July 1st, so it's in season. So, we're going to order some lobster, some other stuff. We have a jab back today, so. Okay, you think? Um. You couldn't even wait on the video. <laughs> So we just finished dinner and yeah this is kind of different, this review is kind of different. We were just brought you guys along because we checked out really late so we just decided to have dinner here. So they get the next point because they do have lobster included. How is it? Sweet. <laughs> so walking out about to say bye to excellent oyster bay. Yeah, at night. <laughs> this is the latest ever leaving the hotel. Latest. Big up Andrew for the turf fuel extension. extension. <laughs> yes sir, eleven o'clock is serving us well. Yeah, but why do we ever leave early again? Um come come other people. Yeah, sometimes sometimes we come with other people, so mm. leave early. Yeah, so when you come by yourself. And then like not being able to go to the room after a while, it's like. Hmm. But right now I don't feel inconvenience. I come to the restaurant and I leave the like. Yeah, because we had the room up until like five o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Are you forgetting? You forget to even get pranking at the room not even that hour ago. Relax yourself. Mhm. Mm Anyways, guys. Peace out to Excellence Oyster Bay. It was really nice. Yep, it was good. We'll be back. Yep. This was an experience. Mm -hmm. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. I keep on. I feel like I keep on closing out this video. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. I feel like I keep on closing out this video. We'll keep on doing other stuff. Yeah. But make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, comment under the video what you want us to do next. Check out the prank video. DM prank ideas to me, team Megs, because she can't manage. Team I Nauseous manage. over there, so. Oh, oh. Team I Nauseous. <laughs> I need to Vex and the other party would be. Okay, because you weren't in pain. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Alright, shout out to Trudian. Her birthday is tomorrow. Happy yeah, birthday in the comments when it comes. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, the staff has been really good here to us guys, so we really appreciate that. And yeah, catch you guys.